Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP. Guys, I have done a lot of stuff since the last recording and um, I decided to record a lot of stuff off of camera because a majority of it was a little bit tedious and a lot of the boring stuff. And as you can see, I found I finally found a place that outside of spawn. So spawn is like that way, probably like a, almost a thousand blocks away that way. And then um, also I, I started this tree farm to help out with my shop because I am selling oak logs in my shop. So I started a farm here for a, a tree farm. I started my, um, what's it called? I started my cow farm over here. Started a couple of chickens. As, as you can see, these chickens are slowly starting to multiply. So I really, really like that. I, I want to make a, I have plans in the future to make, um, I have plans in the future to make an automated chicken farm somehow. So I need to, I need, I'll need to look that up in the future, but uh, hopefully I could figure that out. Let's make a quick chicken right here. And then um, I have a bunch of sugar cane growing because I am wanting to enchant a diamond pickaxe. So um, I've done I've, I've done a bear, fair bit of mining. As you guys can see, here's my humble abode. I've started to... Uh, I, I kind of just did all this off camera, guys, because honestly, it was the really, really boring part. Like, I didn't want to didn't want to show you guys and didn't want to bore you with all the with all those details of actually having to um, figure out where I wanted to live and then you know just all of that all that uh, jibber jabber so I decided to make my little house so here's my little house for the meantime and then I've, I've started this enchanting table and I really want to get enough uh, equipment to to be able to enchant and that's basically my goal right now I'm trying to get enough stuff where's all my food do I have no food I have an apple. I thought I had a whole collection of food. I guess I just used it up. Where the heck is my food? Did I drop it on accident? Do I have anything cooking? There we go. All right, that's that that, that saves the day right there. Cook pork chops. I nearly had a heart attack right there. Holy crap! All right, so yeah, basically, I I started my house. Um, I picked the location. I'm I'm basically just gathering the main materials so far to to get settled in look at stitch stitch has died seven times so like as as i as i discussed for my first episode i want to i want to have that prestige or i want to have that challenge and uh the bragging rights of saying that i never died or i'm gonna try to keep it that way for the longest time so uh we we have to play a little bit more carefully of course but there is health regen so it makes it a little bit easier i just have to not get caught off guard and uh yeah so i picked this uh, biome I picked this place to live just because of the stuff that's around it and I really like this like if let me take a step back I'll show you guys around a little bit why is there chickens oh my god I left the door open oh now all these chickens are out do I have any seeds no I need some I need some seeds to lure this in oh the chickens were out of their friggin cage now look at all of them just floating around oh I'm gonna have to spend some time later so as you guys can see right above my base is like this like hollowed in cave section it's like it's like a nice ravine sort of thing that just goes into there and I want to really make like when I have enough materials later on when I get as I get further into the series I want to try to make like a modern sized house that's like on the actual wall of this and uh, try to implement that into the actual base itself so it's gonna be it's one of those things where it, I think it, it, it would just look really really cool um, after I've started developing everything so obviously it's gonna be a while until that point comes but I'm gonna break some grass right here to grab some extra seeds and then see if I can lure some of the chickens back to my back to my slaughter cage all right let's get that here and let's try to get those chickens back man that's annoying look at all these chickens that freaking got out come on you chickens come over here there's a chicken over here come on you chicken Come on, made like a little thing over here to try to help with uh, attracting them, and it, it, it kind of helps. Like the, all they gotta do is just fall in. So now all these chickens have to freaking get pushed out of the water. Man, I don't. I hate doing this. Why, why, why you must you do this to me, chicken? Come on. Do they do they like come towards me? They do not. Whatever. I'll just take that as a loss. I'll probably just end up killing these chickens because they look like they're grown anyway. Oh, there we go. They're coming. They're coming. Come on, chickens. Come on. I got four of them. I got five of them. Yes. 
Making progress. There we go. All right, getting them back into my cage. There we go. So yeah, I did a lot of stuff off camera as, as, as I was just discussing, guys. I didn't want to bore you with uh, actually having to find this place, like a suitable place to live in. I did a couple more mining because I did need more materials. But for the most part, this is basically all I did. Just I set up a tree farm. I set up a cow farm over here. And then I resupplied my uh, my shop so that some people who, who are just starting off could buy some stuff if they needed to. And uh, that's basically it. So um, I'm planning for this episode. Let's see if I can get a couple more chickens while I talk over here. For this episode, I'm planning to do some stuff. And um, I haven't actually realized or I haven't really thought about what I'm doing yet but I I was thinking about it a little bit earlier I was thinking about it a little bit earlier some people keep trying to freaking uh, get into my door or something I don't know I'm going m mad outside I was thinking about it earlier and um, look at all these chickens yay chickens get out of the way get out of the way all right so what I was gonna do is I need to go mining because I need to find some more I need to find some more diamonds so the thing is, I only have eight diamonds left. This first diamond pickaxe that I made is nearly out, and I want to be able to, I want to be able to enchant um, more items. As you guys can see, uh, somebody left in the comment sections below that lapis is actually really, really useful now because I need it for enchantments. So thank you, thank you, thank you, whoever that was. I forget your name, but thank you for pointing that out because I f totally forgot that in the 1.8 snapshot you need lapis to enchant items. So I, I really want to finish this. Um, this bookshelf area here first and then get my first enchant before I do jump in back into the what do I call it back into the uh, back into a cave system so I, I haven't really found much cave systems around where I am at currently like I have to go a fair bit of ways because I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a ravine a little bit over that way but like the, the ravine didn't really have anything good like a bunch of the stuff like they were just small closed off caves. I couldn't find any of the bigger caves. It was really it was really frustrating um, having to play for like three hours trying to find a cave system and then like all of it just going to waste because I couldn't find <laughs> a cave system to uh, to harvest some resources off of. So come on chickens. There we go. So once again, I'm collecting all these chickens because one, I want to uh, make an automated chicken grinder, and then I'm collecting all these cows as well because I want to make an automated cow grinder, which sort of makes sense for the most part. And uh, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube on how they're doing it, and it's actually really, it looks pretty simple. The hardest part is just getting the starting material, so getting all the cows to uh, perfectly get into like the little hit boxes or whatever. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we're gonna do. Let's see if I'm gonna take these eggs. So the, how I started this this farm was uh, I stole some. Well, not really stole, but I just gathered some eggs from another person's uh, chicken farm. And then all you gotta do is like spam these, and then there's a chance that a chicken will friggin' hatch. Did you guys see that? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna pause the video really quickly here. I'm gonna head over, head on over to my shop. It t does take about like five or ten minutes of walking. I don't want to be recording that. So I'll be right back as I'm going to head to my shop and grab, see if anybody's purchased anything, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, I am going to jump right back into recording as I uh, walk into spawn right here. As you guys can see, they have started to flatten out this area here as um, a lot of people are starting to get back onto the rise and start up their series. Everybody's starting up. As you can see, I'm the only shop still. It's been about two days since I recorded the very first episodes. And um, I'm the very first shop, guys, so I'm really, really proud of that. Like, I'm really, really happy that we, we were the first one to uh, got even a shop open. And then as, as you guys can see, I decorated it a little bit on the outside, just with some trees and some random flowers that I found. On the way, on the way back from uh, my house, I killed some cows, got some more meat. And uh, with that meat, um, I came uh, some leather. And then that leather, I'm going to see if I could, we, we can make a couple more books. So as you guys can see... Right now, I fixed up a couple of the uh, the prices here um, as I was going, and um, somebody had bought something for me, and I had uh, a stack of oak planks in here as a payment, and uh, I don't really know who it was. I think it was uh, Far Few Games who bought something for me so far, but uh, my prices as of right now are 64 oak planks, so like a stack of uh, oak planks, what the heck. A stack of oak planks is 5 iron ore, or 5 iron ingots. And then a stack of iron ingots I'm selling for either one diamond or 16 gold ore. And then a cooked pork chop is just five oak logs. So it's a very small shop right now. I mean, I don't really need much in here as of right now. Like, I don't I don't need to, uh, 
I don't really need to collect anything or I'm not I'm not fully into my business yet like my business isn't really up and running yet as everybody still is getting started out I mean obviously people aren't gonna be buying stuff as of right now because resources are very very limited um, for everybody else's like standpoint just because everybody's just starting everybody still needs to go mining I'm gonna kill this little piggy <gasps> die piggy Ooh, it squealed at me so yeah that's basically it that's that's my shop the very first shop on rise SMP and uh, so I'm gonna see I'm gonna head back to my house uh, which is this way I'm gonna head back to my house hopefully I can find a couple more cows on the way back so I'm gonna pause and cut to when I do get back and then hopefully if we can make enough bookshelves we can have our first enchant oh that's a ravine that was scary all right and uh, yeah we'll be right back hopefully very very soon and uh, if I don't find any cows I'm gonna be a very sad person <laughs> I'll be right back guys 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 I'm almost home I'm almost home and I found a zombie pigman or not a zombie pig what are these called these are called villager zombies I'm pretty sure they're called villager zombies I found one I'm gonna try to lure it all the way back it's turning daylight so I need to hurry this villager needs to walk a little bit faster hopefully I can save this I want to save a villager in my house because I am gonna try to make um sort of like an automated iron ingot um generator so like an iron ingot farm but I'm 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 a ways away from all the materials required to make that farm. But I really, really I saw this I saw this villager and I decided I was just gonna go for it. I'm gonna save him for a little bit later. And as you guys can see, he's following me. I'm gonna try to lure him into this cave system I have over here and then I'll just block him off. No, don't fall in there. No, 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 don't fall in there. Okay, good job. Good job, good job. His name is Steve. We're gonna name him Steve. No, Steve, no, don't burn. No, Steve, no, don't burn. I need to. I need to. No, Steve is gonna burn. No, Steve, come here. Come in here, Steve. Come in here, Steve. Come in here, Steve. Oh my God, Steve is wreck. Steve is wrecking me. Holy crap, Steve. Come here, Steve. No! <laughs> the daylight came too fast. I couldn't save Steve. All right, so another side goal. We're gonna try to capture as many villager zombies as we can. As we as the nighttime approaches, and uh, we'll try to get we'll try to get it into a we'll try to get them ready for a farm of some sort. So we need to keep an eye out for those villager zombies whenever we're close to home. Uh, that was that's really a pain in the butt. I, I was really uh, hoping that I could <laughs> I was really hoping that I could use Steve right there and have my first villager zombie saved, but unfortunately, time was not on my side and uh. He just he just ended up dying to the to the to the what do you call that? He just ended up dying to the earth. Or to the natural elements of the sun, I guess. I'm just collecting up my wheat because I do want to expand my farm. And now let's see, let's see how many we can make. So I've got eight. Let's make this into paper. I've got 36 paper and I have 27 leather. So that's enough to make 27 books. But I only have enough to make 12 books. And then to make a bookshelf, it's four across the middle. Actually, this might be enough. And then four. There we go. So I have four more bookshelves. Let's see if we get our first level, first level thirty enchantment. Let's see if it look if it works. Ah, uh, level twenty six. Looks like I'm gonna have to. I think I have to add this into a corner then. Will that help? Level twenty eight. Oh, this is why. So I I this this isn't a real bookshelf. This is just a freaking. Thing that I covered <laughs> I was trying to be cheap but obviously it didn't work because I need I need one more bookshelf and then I can finally make my very very first enchantment so I, I'm gonna need I just need to wait for the sugar cane to grow basically so let's put that in here I need two more books and then let's cook up these pork chops that I found and then let's cook up those that I also found let's throw away oh I shouldn't have thrown away the bones I could have probably used those for something um, instant health, sure, we'll keep it. Might need that in the future, I'm not really sure yet, so we'll just keep it. Rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That's what I always like to say. I haven't even made a bed yet. How do we How do we make a bed? Let me look it up real quick. Bed Minecraft. I think it's, it's three wool, I know that for sure. And then, whoa. I think it's just three wool on top, and then maybe wood planks on the bottom. There we go. Got my first bed, got my bed set, boom. We are ready to sleep. Oh, we can only sleep at night. All right, so hopefully the sugar cane grows fast enough 
Oh my gosh, I accidentally broke that. Oh, I broke those ones that were growing. What a shame. And then let's go breed a couple more cows while we're waiting for this sugar cane. It looks like a couple more grew here. So I should be able to finish the enchantment table. Or not the enchantment table. The enchantment table set up like the enchanting bookshelf room before this episode ends. And uh, hopefully we could get that started. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I get as my first enchant. And then after that, I'm going to go mining. I, I don't know if I want to do that on camera because mining is a bit tedious. But I'm going to go mining. Hopefully if I get like a fortune... A fortune, uh, if I get a pick that has a fortune enchantment, I'll be able to get find some diamonds, and then those diamonds will just multiply into like 20. That is that is my goal. If I can get a bunch of diamonds that'll multiply into 20, it'll be great. All right, make love, cows. You make love. Love is good. Look at them. They're all just huddled up in there. Making little baby cows. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Um, I should have... The, the, is this enough sugar cane? I really hope this is enough sugar cane. I really don't want to wait any longer. There's 12 pieces right there. Alright. Even picked up even more. So I like I like this little area that I picked because, as you guys can see, it's it really looks really, really bad right now because it's just a freaking wooden oak plank shop or, or a little wooden area here but my plans are so here's my vision guys on this wall here like along this entire wall i'm gonna have like a house like sitting in the cliff so it looks like 100 percent natural like you just put a house into the cliff right there a little look great and then on this side i want to make like an artificial waterfall like I just, I just have like so many plans that i could do like there's so many things that i could do for the actual uh why is there a torch here blocking my way? I want I want to I want to have like one of those naturalized looking houses, but also try to keep it to a way where it doesn't look too it doesn't look too out of place. And I want the scenery around my house to look really really good. So if I ever do build that modern house, or if I ever do get to it, it'll look really nice into this uh, place into this little area that I found over here. So nobody's online right now because I am recording a little bit earlier than usual. And uh, let's make some paper. Hopefully this paper will be enough to... Where's my leather? Here's my leather. Oops, 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 oops. I need another four bookshelves. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, no, that's not perfect. That, that'll only make one, I think. Uh, that, that actually might just be enough. Let's, let's check. Let's put that into this corner. Bam. And there we go. It looks like, will I reach level 30? Level 30 enchant. There we go. So the thing about the 1.8, guys, is you need 30 enchanting levels, like in this bar down here. You need level 30. But for some reason, when you finally enchant it, it only takes like three levels. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go straight up and uh, enchant this diamond pickaxe already. I don't really care that uh, three lapis lazuli. Efficiency four. How come I can't, is there like two slots? There we go. So this thing is a little off as you guys can see because the snapshot is not 100% perfect. Fortune one, efficiency one. I want a fortune one, so let's grab that. Fortune one pickaxe, perfect. So that'll be really, really nice. Let, let me grab more iron. So I, it looks like the new enchanting mechanisms, I can't put multiple enchantments on one? What? So it looks like I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to only have a fortune one pickaxe for the meantime. So that means I need to make another, I'm going to make another diamond pickaxe here. And then I'm going to enchant that with like unbreaking or something. So that'll be the, that'll be the fast miner. I'll have a mining, I'll have one pickaxe for mining diamonds, the fortune. And then I'll have another pickaxe for like actually mining. So it doesn't take me too long. So silk touch, I could get efficiency two or I can get unbreaking one. So can I just like. I wonder if I could just keep, like, doing this. Like, you know, like, see if I can get different enchantments. I guess not. It looks like it'll only choose one. So, efficiency two. I'm going to go for that efficiency two. Or should I go for the unbreaking one? It's really hard to decide. I don't know. Uh, let's just go for efficiency two. Just because I want to I wanna fast mine. I don't want to be spending too much time in the caves. And, uh, yeah, so I basically got done what I wanted to get done for this episode. I got my enchanting, my very, very first enchanted tools on, uh, Rise SMP. I'm gonna cut the recording right here. I'm gonna jump into another recording, uh, probably later tonight, um, 
I got I just showed you I just wanted to update you guys on what is happening on my side of this on my side of things um, when it comes to rise a lot of people are starting just starting out so they might not even have a full house yet so I'm not sure if I'm the most developed person as of right now because I, I don't really know where others people houses are like I don't have any of the we don't have our nether hub saved yet we don't have all those built yet so once we get those built we will get to we'll be able to check out everybody else's progress but for the meantime it looks like um, I think we're making great progress I really just need to bang out this chicken farm and this uh, the steak farm because a lot I spend a lot of my time maybe like 20 minutes or so just having to farm up food and uh, this will help in that farm once I get this up and running and yeah that's basically it I'm gonna see if I can clean up this sugarcane farm a little bit in the future just so it'll make it a little bit easier to harvest and yeah just so some future plans for you guys showed you guys what my what my new humble abode looks like and uh, future plans for building a modern house in this uh, in this type of biome and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, today's SMP episode uh, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe um, leave a comment down in the section below guys leave a comment down there and tell me what would you guys like me to uh, build like what do you guys what kind of redstone mechanisms do you guys want to see from me? Like do you want automated grinders? Do you want automated food collectors like stuff of that sort? Do you want an item sorter? Let me know what you guys want to see in my series and I'll be able if I if I if I if I can be if I can figure it out I'll, I'll gladly teach you guys how to do whatever it is that you guys ask me to and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Once again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the people down below in the description. And we will see you guys later.